North Dakota CDL Airbreak Practice Test. Question 1. At what measurement is the safety valve usually set to open? 100 pounds per square inch. 250 pounds per square inch. 200 pounds per square inch. 150 pounds per square inch. Answer. 150 pounds per square inch. Question 2. Generally, why must you take an exam about air brakes? Otherwise, you can only receive a CDL permit. Otherwise, you cannot receive a CDL at all. All trucks have air brakes. Otherwise, you will have to get the CDL with restrictions. Answer Otherwise, you will have to get the CDL with restrictions. Question 3. Which of the following does ABS do? Activates when the wheels are about to lock up. Increases your normal braking capability. Decreases your normal braking capability. Shortens your stopping distance. Answer. Activates when the wheels are about to lock up. Question 4. When should you drain your air tanks? At the end of the fiscal quarter. At the end of a trip. At the end of the month. At the end of each working day. Answer. At the end of each working day. Question 5. Which of the following is not part of the braking process when driving a tractor-trailer combination vehicle with ABS? When you slow down, you should monitor your tractor and trailer and ease off the brakes to keep control. Brake the same regardless of what you're driving, whether you have a trailer or ABS, or neither. You should use only the braking necessary to stay safely in control. You should drive more quickly so that you will be able to keep the trailer and tractor straight. Answer You should drive more quickly so that you will be able to keep the trailer and tractor straight. Question 6. Which of the following is not part of the air brake system? Emergency brake system Service brake system Radio signal system Parking brake system Answer Radio signal system Question 7. How would you check your truck's slack adjusters? Accelerate, then brake hard. Use gloves and pull hard on each slack adjuster you can reach. Press the brake pedal while listening for any strange noises. All of the above. Answer Use gloves and pull hard on each slack adjuster you can reach. Question 8. Slack adjusters are between the pushrod and S-cam on drum brakes. Part of your air brake system used to adjust the brakes. Between the power screw and pushrod on disc brakes. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 9. What is the best way to test if your vehicle's spring brakes come on automatically? Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the parking brake valve pops out on single vehicles. 
continued to step on and off the brake pedal until the manufacturer's low size specification had been met for spring brakes to deploy. Continued to step on and off the brake pedal until the parking brake valve pops out, on tractor trailers vehicles. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 10. Which of the following factors can cause brakes to fail or fade? Excessive use of the service brakes. Not relying on engine braking enough. Brakes being out of adjustment. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 11. Which vehicles must have low air pressure warning signals? Only those built after 2010. Only those built after 2005. All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation. Warning signals are optional. Answer. All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation. Question 12. How do brakes work on a long, steep downgrade? As the main braking mechanism, with the engine braking effect as an emergency backup. Not applicable, there is no braking effect involved in a downgrade. As the main braking mechanism. As a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. Answer. As a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. Question 13. Which of the following is not part of the drum brake? Slack adjuster. Axle. Brake drum. Safety valve. Answer. Safety valve. Question 14. The purpose of a Sopley pressure gauge is? To tell you how hot the air in the tank is. To warn you only if there is too little air in the tank. To tell you how much air is in the tank. All of the above. Answer. To tell you how much air is in the tank. Question 15. Which conditions are front wheel brakes good under? All weather conditions. Front wheel brakes are never ideal. Only good weather. Only wet or icy conditions. Answer. All weather conditions. Question 16. When should you use the parking brake? Every time you leave your vehicle, except for rare exceptions. Every time you leave your vehicle, for any amount of time. Only if you are away from your vehicle for an extended amount of time. Only in urban areas, where there are many other vehicles. Answer. Every time you leave your vehicle, except for rare exceptions. Question 17. Which of the following is the reason that air tanks must be drained? Your brakes may fail due to the water freezing. You will drive too quickly if they are not. Your transmission fluid may drain out. Your left side brake will cease to operate. Answer Your brakes may fail due to the water freezing. Question 18 the maximum leakage rates per minute are 
5 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 6 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles, 3 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 4 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles, 5 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 10 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles, 1 pound per square inch for single vehicles, 3 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. Answer 3 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 4 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. Question 19 How can you tell if your vehicle is equipped with an anti lock braking system? If the vehicle is manufactured after 1998. If the vehicle is manufactured after 2000. If the vehicle is manufactured after 2010. ABS is still optional. Answer If the vehicle is manufactured after 1998. Question 20. Which of the following is true about a dual error brake system? They use a single set of brake controls. One is called the primary system and one is called the secondary system. One system usually operates the front axle and one operates the rear axle. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 21. Which of the following should you do before leaving your vehicle unattended? Remove the keys. Put on the parking brakes. Chalk the wheels. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 22. Which of the following is true about your brake function if your ABS fails? You will have no brake function and the truck will be out of control. It will slow your truck to a halt and force you to pull over. You will still have normal brake function and simply need to get the ABS repaired soon. It may cause problems with other mechanical systems and there could be a huge fire risk. Answer You will still have normal brake function and simply need to get the ABS repaired soon. Question 23 Spring brakes are Not going to have full effect until your side drops to a certain range. Often, 20 to 30 pounds per square inch. Made up of powerful springs that are held in back while you are driving by air pressure. Brakes that come on automatically on a truck on tractor when the side drops too low. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 24. What is the best way to test your vehicle's low air pressure warning signal? Manually let the air out of your brakes and see if the signal comes on. Pump the brakes while your vehicle is fully on. Step on and off the brake pedal, with the engine off, to reduce air pressure below 60 pounds per square inch. Pump the brakes until the air pressure drops below 30 pounds per square inch. Answer Step on and off the brake pedal, with the engine off, to reduce air pressure below 60 pounds per square inch. Question 25. The Tractor Protection Valve will close itself automatically if the air supply drops to a certain level. Is closed by the parking brakes. 
provides your air supply for brake system. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.